Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about some of the rarest cards in the entire game. And what I mean by that is that these units were all available at some point in the history of Dokkan, but now can no longer be obtained no matter what you do. Like there's literally no way to get these units anymore. And if you own some of these cards, that I'm about to talk about, then needless to say, hold on to them. Make sure they're locked up, don't sell them by accident, don't use them for super attack fodder because they are super, super rare. Uh, not a lot of people are gonna have them and they're definitely useful for flexing on some of the newer players out there, all right? So <laughs> there's a lot of units to get through and without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with a big one, possibly the rarest card in the entire game, this Int SR Messenger from the Future Teen Trunks. Now the reason this card is so damn rare is because the only way you can have him in your box right now is if you pre-registered for the game prior to release. Now, I obviously wasn't there at the time because this game's been out for almost five years now and I've only been playing for about three, right? So I don't really know how it works, like maybe there was some kind of closed beta for Dokkan prior to release to test things out and only those people got this card, I'm not really sure, but uh, I personally do not have him, I've never seen him before and I don't know anybody personally that owns this card either, so that's why I'm saying this guy could possibly be the rarest card in the entire game. If you guys own this unit or were around for that pre-registration period, then let me know in the comments down below how exactly that whole process worked because honestly, I have no idea. Now quickly going over his details, his leader skill was attack plus 10% for all types, rainbow leader, pretty nice, and his super attack is burning attack, causes huge damage to enemy, and his passive was overflowing key, and it says with a chance of key plus two. Now I'm not really sure how high that chance was, maybe 10%, maybe 20%, doesn't really matter. The point is, he really, really sucks, but that's to be expected because he is super old, right? And also, the reason I want this guy and a lot of these other units on the list that I'm missing is not because I want to run him on a team and beat events, right? It's because I just want to have him in my collection. I want to complete my Dokkan collection. And the sad reality is that for most of these guys, we are never going to be able to get them again, which uh, really sucks, but it is what it is. So that is the first card on the list, the Int Future Trunks, possibly the rarest card in the entire game. And now we're going to move on to number two, which is the Int SR Divine Evolution Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku. Now this guy was given out as a reward during the 10 million downloads celebration, which happened in April of 2015 for JP and then sometime before October 30th of 2015 for Global, which was obviously a very, very long time ago. I'm gonna assume that most of you guys were not around during the 10 million download celebration, which means you guys never got him. And we just had, what, the 300 million download celebration for both versions, so we've definitely come a long way since then. And this guy, just like the Int Trunks, is hot garbage. I mean, all types attack plus 15%, extreme damage, and super rare chance of key plus seven and attack plus 2500. But even though I will never run him, there are way better Super Saiyan Blue Gokus in the game. Uh, I gotta say that art is still pretty fantastic. I think he looks awesome. And if you guys have him in your box, in your collection, let me know in the comments down below. I'm super jealous of you. I wish I could get him. And hopefully at some point in the future, Bandai does allow us to buy him in the Baba shop or farm him from some kind of event, but I highly doubt it, so uh, yeah, another unit that most likely is forever out of reach for your boy Tiger. All right, that's number two. Moving on, we got this Fizz Police Officer Krillin and also an AGL Final Form Frieza, and both of these units were actually farmable from this Countdown to Resurrection story event, which for some reason was discontinued a while ago and just never came back, which is why neither of these units 
are obtainable anymore, which is really, really sad because I really freaking want this Officer Krillin, guys. I just love the art. Uh, we don't have a lot of Krillins in this game as it is, so it really sucks that one of them is super limited like this. And uh, if you guys frequent the Dokkan subreddit, this guy is actually the subject of many memes, which just adds to my desire for him. Uh, his leader skill was Fizz types, defense plus 25%, causes huge damage, and lowers defense and HP plus 1500 at the start of turn. Bandai, if you're listening, please bring him back in some form. I mean, maybe just bring the story event back, that would make it easy, but if not, then at least make him available in the Baba Shop or as a login bonus or something like that, all right? Next up, of course, is the AGL Final Form Frieza, who I still want, but honestly, he's super generic and we already have enough Final Form Freezes in the game, I think, so I don't think I need another one. Uh, he does Dokken Awaken into a Golden Frieza, and we also have a lot of Golden Freezes already, right? His leader skill with AGL types keep plus 2, extreme damage, and high chance that all enemies defense minus 50%. So there's not much else to see here, so we're gonna move on to the next unit, which is this Tech Master Roshi, who was given out as a reward for completing a mission during the first ever world tournament and now we're on like world tournament number 24 25 or something like that so it's been many many tournaments since the first one and i'm gonna assume that most people were not around during that time and even if you were maybe you didn't participate in that tournament so there are many reasons why this guy is just super rare and not a lot of people can say they have him. Uh, he did get a Dokkan Awakening eventually, which uh, didn't really help him too much. He gave tech types attack plus 30%, extreme damage, and attack plus 1800 at the start of turn. The next unit is also a super rare world tournament unit, which is this uh, STRSR Oob. And I gotta say, this guy probably has one of the worst arts in the entire game. I might make a separate video just talking about like, the ugliest arts in Dokkan, and this guy would definitely be up there. Now, as far as how people got him, uh, first of all, he was only available on the JP version of the game, which I believe is still true to this day, and he was one of the rewards for ranking in the top 10,000 for the first ever world tournament on JP. When it came to Global's first world tournament, I think they changed up the reward. I don't remember what the unit was because that was actually before my time, but uh, it wasn't the Oob. And I don't think we ever got the Oob for any subsequent world tournaments on Global either, which is super weird because he's really not that good at all, you know? Attack plus 15% for all types, super attack, key blast cannon, causes damage and may stun the enemy, hold on causes damage. Yo, that is the first time I've seen that, because usually for any unit, there's some kind of multiplier, there's some kind of descriptor, right? It's like extreme damage, supreme damage, immense damage, and so on and so forth. This dude just has causes damage. <laughs> yo, that is a low-key roast from Bandai. Uh, someone, yo, someone over at Bandai doesn't like Oob, apparently. I mean, obviously there is a multiplier of uh, 120%, but I've never seen the super attack just straight up say causes damage. That's hilarious. Okay, passive attack and defense plus 25% when HP is 80% or below, and uh, who cares about the categories and links. So that is the STR oob right there. We're gonna move right along to this instant transmission. Super Saiyan Goku. Now this dude was actually farmable during the crossover campaign between Dokkan Battle and One Piece Treasure Cruise, and I think to this day, it is still the only collab we've ever had with another mobile game, and I really hope we get more of them in the future because they're a lot of fun. Um, I guess there's always still a chance we get a real collab between Dokkan and Legends at some point in the future, not just that like stupid Twitter wallpaper thing we had, but a real collab with like, you know, a new event and a shallot in Dokkan, and I'm not really sure what Legends would get from the Dokkan side, but some kind of special unit for them as well. That would be super, super dope. But for now, the only real collab we've had is this one right here, and it ended quite a few years ago. So unfortunately, 
this Goku is no longer obtainable. Uh, one interesting thing to note is that he's actually a little different between the two versions. So on JP, he dropped as an SR that could only be awakened into an SSR, whereas for Global, he dropped as an SSR and could be awakened into a UR unit. So he is quite a bit better on the Global side, but that being said, he's still really not that good all types attack plus 20 percent huge damage rare chance to stun the enemy and key plus two for our allies when hp is 50 percent or above next up we're going to talk about this uh sr int first form frieza who was given out as a special gift of some kind and only available on the jp version once again i'm not really sure what the special gift was for um, I would assume something related to like V-Jump or Shonen Jump or something like that, one of the magazines, but I can't say for sure. Uh, int types, attack plus 30%, extreme damage, attack and defense plus 25% when HP is 80% or below. And we also have a few other units that were given out as special gifts for, uh, like I said, either Shonen Jump or V-Jump. So this SR, STR Goku, was also a JP exclusive thing. He was part of a Shonen, uh, Shonen V Jump event and he gave STR types attack plus 25%, causes huge damage and rare chance of increasing attack by 50%. This art, just like the Oob, is absolutely awful. <laughs> Yo, I definitely need to make a video talking about the worst arts in Dokkan because I have at least two of them in this video already, right? Um, did I already read the details? I forgot. Huge damage, rare chance of increasing attack by 50%, awful art, and uh, available through this V-Jump event. Next up is this STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and he was a special gift with a Shonen Jump event. He gave STR types key plus 2, extreme damage to enemies, and key plus 2 when HP is 50% or above. One weird thing about this guy is like, he looks like a kid in his art, right? Like, this is supposed to be an adult Goku. It's supposed to be from Super. But he looks like he's like 12 years old in that picture. Like, what's up with that? Anyways, I mean, it's just the old art, right? Like, a lot of them are kind of iffy when you compare it to the modern day card arts. So I'll give them a pass for that. I don't think it's actually ugly. I don't think it actually looks bad like the previous Goku and the Oob. But it just... It's kind of weird just how young he looks in the image. Um, we also have this SR uh, Instant Transmission Yardrat Goku. And he was also a V-Jump Magazine reward. I think people had to like redeem or like enter some kind of special code to get this dude. And uh, I kind of want him just for the art alone. I think it looks pretty dope. Uh, Fizz types, key plus for attack plus 15%, huge damage, and rare chance of increasing key by 5 um, really bad card, but another one I want to add to my collection for sure. And uh, I think this guy was the same thing. So V Jump Magazine, uh, Global question marks. I don't think he actually ever came out on Global, but if you go through the list for certain categories on Global, he actually comes up, which is weird considering he was never a playable card on Global as, as far as I'm aware. I think he was only a usable unit on JP through the V-Jump thing, and then for Global, he's in the database, but was never actually released, you know? So, uh, yeah, AGL key plus 2, extreme damage, lowers defense, and chance of all allies key plus 3. That's the SR AGL Beerus. And the next two units are actually two strike event units that just straight up got removed from the game. I don't know, well, at least their events did. Their events got removed from the game. So we have this SR Kabito Kai, and also this uh, Fizz Piccolo Jr. So for the Pabito Kai, this is his strike event. Very similar to the super strike events we have today, uh, except for some reason this dude's event just got straight up removed from the game. As you can see, unavailable event. This event has completely been removed from the game, which means that this SR um, Kabito Kai is no longer farmable. And his leader skill was STR types, HP attack plus 30%, huge damage, allies attack plus 15% for one turn, and recovers 5% HP at the start of turn. Uh, for the Piccolo Jr., this was his event, and he 
gave Fizz types key plus 3, huge damage, and rare chance to stun all enemies. And finally, we are on the final 4 units of the video, and they are all free to play units that used to be farmable but now can no longer be obtained because their respective story events have all been revamped or renewed and now only the Dokkan Awakened versions of these cards can drop from the event which is really a good thing for farming super attack and stuff like that but unfortunately that also means that their pre-awakened versions are no longer obtainable. So we're gonna start here with the RSTR Vegeta and his leader skill was attack plus 20% for STR types causes huge damage and rare chance of increasing attack by 100% he was from the uh, Saiyan Saga story event a new threat the Saiyan warrior race and of course this is the Dokkan Awakened version and this is the only version that can drop from the story events now same thing with this Nappa right here the int statistic strongman Nappa. Um, int types attack plus 20%, uh, causes huge damage to enemy, and int types attack plus 10%. His awakened version is this guy right here, the devastating carnage Nappa. And we're also going to talk about this AGL Bardock who is from the last battle or basically Bardock story event. And of course, that got a revamp as well. So now you can only get the fight against destiny SR Bardock and finally the final unit that we're going to talk about in this video is the one that most recently got phased out which is the R Fizz Youth Gohan and of course he's from the Bojack movie event and now you can only get this SR Super Saiyan Youth Gohan to drop from the event and uh, all the R versions of the cards I just talked about are now considered super rare because there's literally no way to get them. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I know I went through a lot of units. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting though. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which of these units you still currently have in your box. Um, I'll just go through them real quick. Not gonna, you know, talk too much about them or anything like that, but just show you guys the images. And uh, if you own any of these cards, definitely let me know or let me know how many of them you actually own. Uh, I'm gonna say that most people probably don't have this trunks, but for the other ones, I mean, it's a bit of a toss up. If you were playing, you know, within the last like three to four years, then maybe you have a few of them. Uh, for me, I'm missing probably at least, I wanna say like 70% of them, which as I said, is really sad because I'm one of those people that just really, really wants to have all the units, man, regardless of how good they are, regardless of whether or not I can actually use them. I just wanna have a complete collection and I don't feel like that's ever gonna be a possibility with uh, how limited some of these cards are. But anyways, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.